Hey, do you know how to manage lead properly and what statuses they can have? In this video you will learn about the lead process in CRM using Salesforce Sales Cloud as an example. My name is Nikita and I am a Salesforce developer at NOA. We help businesses overcome challenges using Salesforce. Firstly, what are leads? Leads are potential customers who have shown interest in your product or services but haven't made a purchase yet. They are at the initial stage of the sales process and are the fundamental part of it. Salesforce allows you to organize leads into different statuses, representing their progression through the sales pipeline. When the lead is converted, three new objects will be created – an account, contact and opportunity. Accounts are businesses your company deal with. Contacts are people linked with an account or individual customers. Opportunities are potential deals or sales that your businesses can pursue tied to specific product or services. Stay tuned as we will release the videos for each of those objects. Broadly speaking, the sales process includes both lead management and opportunity management. However, the term sales process itself in Salesforce is connected to the opportunity in their stages. On the other hand, the lead process is connected to the statuses that a lead can have before turning into the opportunity. Let's walk through the basic lead process in Salesforce. Don't worry, it's customizable and can reflect your unique business process. Let's start with the lead creation. We start from the lead tab and click New. Here is the form we need to fill out. We enter the name of the company. After that, we pick the suitable lead source. Don't skip this question, as it gives you insight about the effectiveness of the lead generation channels. Then we pick the lead status. Here I leave the basic status – open, not contacted. Overall, you can add various additional info about your lead, such as address, product, interest, and so on. We will finish for now and click Save. Here is our freshly created lead with the first status – open, not contacted. Leads reach the stage when they are initially identified and are assigned to the sales representative, but haven't been contacted yet. For instance, when the lead fills out a form on your website. The next status is working contacted. At this status, the sales team has initiated communication with the lead to learn about his goals and needs. The worst of the resulting statuses is closed, not converted. Unfortunately, not all leads turn into sales. Leads that won't end in a sale are moved in this stage. Reasons can include the lack of interest in your product, unwillingness to buy, or simply incorrect contact information. Finally, the ideal status for any manager is closed converted. At this point, the lead meets the criteria for a potential sales opportunity and show interest in moving forward through the sales journey. Now, let's convert this lead. I click Convert. Here, we can see the process of converting a lead to an account, contact and opportunity. Also, here we can prefill some fields on this object with the required values. The Opportunity object has a checkbox that allows us not to create a new opportunity during conversion. If we already have the corresponding object for our lead in Salesforce, we can choose from the existing records. But in our case, we will create the new ones. That's it. We got our contact, account and opportunity from the lead. Here are the lead objects and lead process explained in Salesforce. Struggling to manage your Salesforce org? Anyway has your back. Connect with us via the link below. If the video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for ongoing Salesforce Insight and ensure you hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.